Lawyers of the universe. Who's who? You probably came to this uh, YouTube channel and this video via my card. I'm not the cop of the world and top is also not the lawyer of the universe. I'm human man, almost 47 and I like women only to be my partner and mother someday of many of my children. Know and understand sex and know me. Tom is an Tom is of an alien, at least to you, species, doesn't have one or the other sex, but both, a hermaphrodite, like all others of his, her species, able to procreate solo or with someone else. I know he, I say for now, has at least one child and maybe one plant, but I suspect many more will, will like I plan, come or have come already. I don't want sex with him, nor want to eat him. Vice versa has also not happened yet. The plot of nature. God, Allah, Yahweh, Yeh Jehovah, Yah, etc. Another person. His energy, and he has the building plan for everything in every bit of that endless pot of energy, as I call it. Tom is not a god. Nor am I. Jesus, Muhammad, may have lived one day, but I'm not him either. And I'm me, and Tom is Tom. Do or did one of us ever wear or try it out the cross of Jesus? Or act as a prophet? No. We know, realize the beginning and are the only future that's laid out for us. Not by Tom or me, but by how, by how we are. And how we, I include you, probably human, birds, dolphins, bacteria, rats and cats, etc. By how we are. It's our nature, the nature of every organism, meaning organizing food, energy for their organs, to procreate and guarantee life for that software. God and its intrinsic soft hey. hardware uh, that we call DNA. Tom calls and has only RNA. And there are probably those like him that have another basis like sugar, carbon, phosphor we use, etc. But maybe they use lactose, molybdenum, or iodine. Tom uses and smells like molybdenum in its single-stranded RNA. But my carbon might smell to him like the old and uh, worn-down saddle of the bike of Lance, Lance Armstrong. Even though I ride it stereo bolt. Talking about my sex life, like WikiLeaks, I don't know his name exactly, uh, but he was probably framed for uh, being accused of rape when um, he uh, showed that film that the cameraman shot his own combat boot food. Combat boot food. So he shot his own food, the WikiLeaks guy. And so am I being framed. They, the Illuminati, who instigated this war, remember this picture? Or that war? Remember that early bird I showed you in another video? He has an ancestor living now, and that bird is being trained to be a uh, to be a weapon <clears throat> and they do it to sell weapons make money roll their way and maintain their so-called power I'm being framed used as a sex weapon of my own raping of my own body and that's you risk uh, in the court uh, business now being interpreted as molesting society the good uh, behavior of people normally 
and uh, privacy. They charged me and accused me for having, uh, for the possession of autobiographic child pornography while diagnosing me, while diagnosing me for paranoid schizophrenic, for a paranoid schizophrenic. I'm not going to be the one, I'm not going to be the god, cop, the lawyer, or the judge of that. And I won't tell you what to think about it too. As I said, I write stereo bald, smell tropical afterwards, and like another friend of me once said, cleaning up my DNA trails, you should pay attention more often and not be licking your balls all the time. But together with my lawyer, we literally translated our in higher profession. As we say in Dutch, je moet je kop houden. What's inside my head is my business. What you think I do to other people, persons, is their business. Everyone else is out of the equation. Doesn't need my DNA or my explanation. Like Tom or me, I'm not cop or lawyer. There cannot be a judge of that which is, but only of that that isn't. Frau Justitia, the woman of justice, is the last. And we, you and me, are not the first. Mother Nature is just, judges no one afterwards and punishes no one in advance. Neither Tom, me, the Illuminati or any other living organism ever can do that task of Mother Nature. Another Dutch saying is, je moet je snavel houden, meaning here you have every right to your opinion but judge no one. I'm also in debt for two dollars and twenty thousand euro. But if I wait long enough, I can buy back those two eyes on it with money I printed myself on used toilet paper. Because Koninkaiser Admiral, a Dutch ad for toilet paper, once rang, "Good poop doesn't leave a trail, brother, sweet brother." So, who's who? God, Allah, etc. Not a who. But he builds and is in everything and everybody. Jesus, Muhammad and Buddha, for instance. Maybe they are real. If there is one person who will know and tell us, it's Tom. Mother Nature. Not a who. But... It's the way everything that lives, lives. The woman of justice, not a who, but I have a lawyer, the number one in the world, who could be a personification of her until we let Mother Nature take over forever. Tom, a real person, organism of a life form we only know, did find in fossils as the RK, but didn't involve to his size and, and level of intelligence equal to ours and all other ETs in the universe. The highest bounded by the highest level achievable by nature because of certain, fa uh, because of certain factors which I call the IQ ceiling. He has a very different body, no legs, but together with arms and a propulsion bladder, possibly little wings, spoilers on the skull, and a Weerhaag sprint start. I will translate that for you in the subtitles, for instance. But, can do, but he can do a lot of the things we do. But flies, floats instead, instead of walks. That that's, that makes him different from us next to all those similarities. E.T. in general, probably there's a lot of variation, but it's not called organism for a reason, uh, for no reason. It's got to be organized, like us and like Tom. There are maybe 
hundreds of alien species and I keep it low next to the one you know you got to know now that have reached that IQ level but like we have dolphins and monkeys there is a connection between what IQ is needed in a certain habitat and what evolves in that habitat in other words dolphins are as happy and as smart as needed by themselves as any other animal archaea, bacteria, etc. And that's the same for any other ET in their habitat. So don't expect all smart guys on every planet, like we are not smart all the time either. <clears throat> Hans, the last person in the question, who is who? I'm just human, I told you. And like you and Tom, a real person, and like Tom and me and you also, not a Allah, Jesus or Buddha. The last time I checked myself anyway. So, the verdict. The verdict. So should we now give up religion, science, both or none of it all? Religion is the polit political agenda Tom gave us to let us prepare ourselves for that one last and final election for the kingdom of what is, what functions and what we all want. A peaceful universe where we will live forever in good health and harmony with every organism that has reached its IQ ceiling. And or every organism has reached their IQ ceiling. A tree is as intelligent as it needs to be, which that organism, their habitat, we will then respect because he does so ours. And with all the technology we want, need or don't, you don't have to use computers, even in heaven, but with no excuses needed for what we couldn't know and couldn't solve from now on, because we know we are saved. I dedicate this video to my lawyer, and not much people can do that to one of the humankind and one of the E.T. Tom kind at the same time. Because they made me see how we don't want to do things anymore. How we can and will do things from now on and that there is only one law in the word lawyer.